Hey, it's Matt, and I am about to wrap up my week. It is Friday afternoon. Uh, as soon as my wife and children get home, we're going to jump in the car and head up to Vail, Colorado, spend some time in the mountains, see the leaves changing colors. So very, very excited for that. And, you know, I've had one heck of a good week. Um, I had the opportunity to travel to Omaha, Nebraska, do a speech at Mutual of Omaha. Uh, yesterday, I did a speech with the Mile High Young Professionals Group. Today, I had the opportunity to do a speech with the CFO Roundtable, part of the Colorado Society of CPAs. And it just put me in this state of, of thankfulness and gratitude. And I spoke a lot about it today, actually, at the speech that I gave of you know why should we have this attitude of gratitude right and if you've been following me at all for the past couple of months you'll have seen some videos that i posted about this where you know it's not just you know be thankful to be thankful right because it might make you feel better but what i was talking to the group about this morning is that they've actually tested this and done blood draws and if you start implementing this attitude of gratitude it can actually reduce your cortisol levels, which is linked to stress, right? So lower your stress levels by upwards of 20, 23%, depending on the study you read. So this whole, I don't know, where it confuses people about, you know, why should I be thankful? It's actually based in science. So not only does it make you feel better, it's because you're lowering your stress level and those cortisol levels. So it's real stuff. So after, you know, this week today, the people I've got to talk to and interact with and speak with, um, I'm just so thankful for that opportunity that, that I've been given. And on this Friday or whatever day you happen to be watching this video, I just want you to think back over these past few hours or this past week or past couple of days. And I want you to find just three things that you are thankful for. Uh, it could be people, it could be interactions, it could be you like, crushing some projects, right? Or making some sales or launching that business or that product, right? It could be a whole slew of different things. Uh, it could be your family. Uh, it could be your significant other. But whatever it is, I want you just to think and reflect upon those three things that you are thankful for. Um, I know that, you know, sometimes I don't take enough time uh, to reflect upon that. And that's one of the reasons we're going up to the mountains um, is, you know, not only spend quality time with my family, uh, but also that we can be in nature and just kind of be in awe and thankful for all these beautiful trees and, and what is surrounding us. So I'm in a really cool state right now of just gratitude and pumped up based on the people that I've met with and uh, spoken to this uh, over this past week. And I hope you feel the same. So think of those three things. Hey, if you're comfortable, let me challenge you to, to write down those three things you're thankful for in the comments below this video. I'd love to hear it. I'm sure others would, would like to, to hear what you're thankful for as well and, and be on that journey with you. So please write that down in the comments below. I hope you have a great weekend or day, depending on one, again when you watch this video. And as always, don't hold back.